Hey traders, Todd Gordon here with TradingAnalysis.com. This is for CNBC's Trading Nation. Traders, markets are a little slow in here. We are heading into the summer here. We're, we're into the summer. Doldrums may be setting in here, though we do have a busy schedule this week in terms of uh, central bankers speaking, and we are heading into earnings season, so that could change. But for now, guys, market looks a little quiet. So first thing I want to show you is we are in a bit of a June consolidation uh, which was preceded by a nice spring run up. I do think that we are gonna continue to press higher, um, maybe reaching the 246 to $248 region in the SPY over the next couple weeks. This is a very, very low implied volatility market right now. Okay, there's not a lot of movement in here, so I'm cautious to pay for options, pay for premium. When you do that, you require market movement. And specifically in Trading Nation, what we like to do is do those debit spreads, buy a call right around the current market and sell a higher call. You're gonna ultimately pay a debit, which means market has to move in order for you to be paid on that trade. I wanna go in a different uh, way. And rather than paying for calls, let's sell puts. Even though the market is very low volatility, we're gonna sell puts on top of the market and that's going to create the ability to make money if the market goes up, slightly up, and even sideways here. So that's the kind of style I like in this slower summer market for now. And if the market just rips higher, that's fine too. We can make money. We just won't make as much money had we paid for calls. So we're going to go ahead and sell puts. So let's go out to the July monthlies. Those are going to expire on July 26th. Market's trading $243. So I want to go ahead and we're going to sell down here. Let's sell the $244 put, which is going to be just above us. We can go ahead and pay for the $241 put. So that's going to be a $3 wide put spread. Paying for, uh, we're going to sell the 244s, buy the 241s. Altogether, right now for putting on this trade, we're going to take in 96 cents. Okay, so we're gonna make $96 right now per one lot traded on this spread. That's gonna be our max profit up here when and if the SPY stays above $244. The break even is gonna be when the market starts to drop right around $243.03. Okay, that's the point at which we'll lose money in this trade. And if the market really drops, we can get all the way down to a loss of $203. So we're standing to make about 97 while risking 200. What's the purpose of that skewed reward to risk ratio? Well, again, we have a big zone of potential profitability everywhere from here, which is right at about, it's gonna be your short, it's gonna be your short strike. So it's gonna be right around $243 here and to the right, that's all profitability. Okay, so we even if the market starts to just push higher a little bit, and even if it just chops higher like it's starting to do here in the summer, we will be able to collect the decay on those short 244 puts, and that's going to work to the advantage, our advantage in the slow summer market. So we're trying to make that theta or time decay in this low market. So that's the trade. Uh, if we were to start to push below $242, I'm going to look to close this trade, get out. Otherwise, let's just take in that premium on the short 244 puts with a long put to um, create a, a floor uh, in terms of uh, risk at 241. For CNBC's Trading Nation, I'm Todd Gordon. Good luck on that trade. Be sure to follow us at Trading Nation for updates to this position as well as all the other trades our traders are watching. We'll see you guys in the next video update. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.